Hi everybody, it's June 16th. You'll hear me say May by mistake in a second, but it's June 16th and we're doing some special uh, Bible verses out of Romans in these uh, first few days here of the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but we're on the 16th of June. Hi, this is the Daily Word. It's May 16th, Wednesday. It's a Joseph Day, Wednesday. So think of uh, how you're going to live in the heart of Joseph today. When we think of Mary, though, under the cross, we think of the uh, sacred heart of Jesus and him dying on the cross and Mary with her immaculate heart, loving him and witnessing it and maybe understanding uh, that he has sacrificed his lamb on the altar of the cross. Um, the crucifixion. So today, let us pray, O oh Lord. We pray for healing from the temptation to lust. Mary witnessed Jesus, her own flesh and blood, enduring nails in his flesh, so they might take away the sins of the world, lust of the flesh and the eyes. Blessed Mother, we pray that our sinful desires may be crucified with Christ, as Galatians 2.19 says so that we may glorify God in our body, as 1 Corinthians 6.20 says. In their needs and pursue hospitality. Share with the saints in need, in their need, and pursue hospitality. So this time we have two pieces of advice instead of three like we had in the previous two days. But share with the saints in their needs. Do you know what your brothers and sisters need of you? Do you know what your parish needs of you? Do you know what your neighbors need of you and the faith that lives inside of you? Do you know what your world needs of you uh, as for living in Christ? Good questions to ask. And then pursue hospitality, not just, it, it's like not a, not a dormant thing. It's like a pursue it. So how can, how can you be a hospitable Christian? How can you be a hospitable parish member? How can you be hospitable in, in the enterprises of the parish in making this a welcoming place or getting people to come? These are the kind of things we're wondering about as we're uh, trying to rebuild resurrection from the pandemic experience. So uh, Romans, 1213. Uh, finally, I want to thank you uh, for uh, giving uh, Rich Whitney a good time here in the parish when his um, seminary and service um, was sent here, where this was his apostolate. Thank you for the Knights for involving him with your enterprises and meetings, and thank you uh, for the religious ed program and RCIA programs for bringing him in, engaging him. Uh, thanks to the clergy, my fellow clergy. Uh, we enjoyed uh, in, in involving Rich, especially in his deacon year uh, and getting his feet wet. Um, and just thank you parishioners who were there uh, for his different Thanksgiving masses he just had. And, or even right when he became a deacon for the, uh, the warm support for him. And for those of you that stayed around uh, in the last two weekends just to greet him or even get his priestly blessing after his masses. It was, uh, it was certainly uh, you're pursuing hospitality by doing that. And thank you. And I think, he, I think he's gonna do well where he goes because he has um, caught the fever of hospitality 